How did you get in here? I came in through the door. I'm Masha. That is a scene from Nine Perfect Strangers, episode seven of which drops on Amazon Prime tomorrow, and which is based on Leanne Moriarty's best-selling novel of the same name. But the great news is she's got a brand new book out and it's called Apples Never Fall. And Leanne joins us now live from her home in Sydney. G'day, Leanne. It's great to see you. Lovely to see you too. Now, I managed to get my hands on an advanced copy of Apples Never Fall and I absolutely loved it. It's a ripper read. Where did the idea come from? I think the idea, well, there were a few sparks. First of all, uh, my husband gave me some fancy new headphones and I got into podcasts. And like a lot of people, I started listening to true crime podcasts. And sadly, there are um, multiple cases where a woman goes missing and the husband is the chief suspect in um, her possible murder and he is invariably described as a loving father mm. and that just got me thinking about how would I feel as an adult if um, my mother went missing and uh, everybody was saying that my father had possibly murdered her. Uh, so that was one prompt. Another prompt was that my, I asked my sister to send me a writing prompt and she texted me just a few lines describing a bike lying on the grass underneath a tree with a few apples spilled next to it. Which... And so I had those two ideas and uh, I, didn't know, I didn't know where my missing mother was and I didn't know what the bike had to do it and I just started writing. That's amazing. Your British pub publishers have made a TV commercial about the book, which is fun. Have a look. Two <laughs> news for a Sydney mother of four who's been missing for over 10 days. Concerned friends and neighbours of the affluent North Shore family describe them as being remarkably close with seemingly nothing to hide. From the acclaimed author of Big Little Lies and Nine Perfect Strangers comes an enthralling new tale of family secrets, deceit, and betrayal. Does that sum it up nicely? It, it does. It does. It's it's great. There's no swimming pool. The family doesn't. They're not quite as wealthy. Everybody always wants to make my families. They <laughs> give, they give them a lot more money than I give them in the <laughs> books. Oh, uh, now you usually have a new book for us every two years. We've had a bit of a longer wait for this one, um, and. You, you revealed to your, your fans on Facebook that, in actual fact, you've had a bout with breast cancer. I have. So uh, it was actually after I delivered the manuscript <laughs> for Apples Never Fall. I was catching up on uh, all my life administration. So I had a routine mammogram at Breast Screen New South Wales. Uh, and so I had no symptoms whatsoever. Uh, and yes, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And fortunately, because I was right on time, it was caught early. Uh, and so my prognosis was pretty good from the beginning, but it was obviously uh, very scary. We just saw a vision of you ringing the bell, which is a tradition when you finished your radiation therapy. But you mentioned breast screen, New South Wales. It's closed at the moment because of COVID. And I know a lot of doctors in the field are particularly concerned that people will miss those appointments, not reschedule them, and that early symptoms will be missed. Yes, and I spoke about it with my oncologist who said to me the problem is that so many people will then uh, put it off for another whole year. And to be honest, I know that's what I would have done because I think if I had um, called up and they said, oh, well, we're closed, I bet I would have put it off for another year and then my prognosis would not have been as good. And as I say, I had no symptoms whatsoever. And I had a superstitious feeling that just making the appointment was me uh, behaving well and the, the universe, universe would reward me. Uh, and obviously that makes no sense. So I really hope we can get Breast Screen New South Wales opened up again very soon. It is uh, as essential as Bunnings. Exactly. You said it well. Now, two of your books, Big Little Lies and Nine Perfect Strangers, have been made into big budget Hollywood TV series, both starring and produced by Nicole Kidman. How would you describe your friendship? 
oh, she's lovely. She's just lovely and warm, and uh, I feel I feel very lucky to have her as as a friend. Um, look at. <laughs> <laughs> look at my face there. <laughs> that was from the Emmy's red carpet. <laughs> I looked embarrassingly adoring there. I'm great. I'm very grateful, obviously, to her for coming into my life. Oh, I love it. Now, you would usually be travelling the world right now to promote the book, glamorously flying all over the world because you have fans in so many countries. You're stuck at home. I guess you get to do homeschooling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's fun. Uh, yeah, and I'm really sad, I have to say, not to meet readers because normally I'd be at uh, having events and having talking to readers and and that's a really special part of the job. So I can't wait till I can get back out again. And, of course, to be with you and on the, on the red carpet uh, and learning how to get my photograph taken. Every time I get my photo taken now, I say... Up, up, like Ange says. Up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> we have had some fun. We could put some of our tales in a book one day, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> Apples Never Fall it is a sensational book. It's out now wherever you get great books. Leanne Moriarty, lovely to catch up with you as always. Oh, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.